GoIPFS uh, 0.7 is going to be coming out very soon. Um, so let's go into a little bit of uh, what's going to be in there. All right, so first off, uh, we are disabling um, SecIO support by default. So SecIO is a uh, security protocol that we've been using for uh, a long time to make sure that peers can uh, securely communicate with each other. Um, in general, it's good, it's good practice to try and use protocols that are, are sort of widely supported uh, in the cryptographic space. Um, and so we've started to move, we've moved towards um, other protocols like TLS and noise. Um, and now is the time uh, for us to uh, discontinue support for, for SecIO. Um, there is a blog post that goes into a lot more detail here, which I encourage you to check out. Uh, but the short version is that if you are running GoIPFS uh, earlier than 0 0.4.21 or JSIPFS below 0 0.47, <clears throat> um, you, you should definitely upgrade because otherwise you will not be able to talk to other peers on the network. Um, this has a nice benefit if you upgrade to the latest version where things uh, DHT, DHT nodes greater than GoIPFS 0 0.5 just perform a lot better and we have, we've had a number of uh, really nice features in 0 0.5 and 0 0.6 and some coming in 0 0.7. So we encourage upgrading. All right, um, and keys. So we are switching to using uh, elliptic curve keys, ED25519 keys by default. Uh, these are uh, smaller and more performant than, than RSA keys and are going to help us uh, going forward in terms of making content like fa content faster to discover, um, and and basically anything that we want that is going to involve some sort of user-based signature is now going to be much uh, faster and easier for us to do. Um, to help with this, we've also added some commands for uh, key rotation and importing and exporting them. So changing what the peer ID key is. Uh, that represents your node, and also importing and exporting uh, IPNS keys that you might be using. So, for example, uh, you may have had your key previously that was some RSA key with a peer ID that looks like this, you know, QM something, um, and then you'll rotate it uh, to an elliptic curve key. This is actually, this is the default. If you don't specify the type flag, this will just work. Um, and it will save your pre-existing key because you may have been using your pre-existing key as an IPNS key, as a publishing key. So we keep that around. Uh, and you'll see the formats change. So instead of, uh, you know, QM something, it starts with one, two. And that's because it's actually, the key is now small enough that we don't need to refer to some, some hash of the RSA public key like we did before. We can actually refer to the entire elliptic curve key. And so this is the elliptic curve public key is in here. Um, if you want to change the representations around between, say, uh, base 58 and, and base 36, because maybe you want to put the peer IDs inside of a DNS, a DNS link, uh, we have a new flag for setting the peer ID base that you can use. Uh, this is particularly helpful for the uh, HTTP over libp2p feature uh, that is in GoPFS. Uh, importing and exporting keys sort of works as you would expect. Um, you just decide, you say, I want to export the key. Here's the file. This is the name of the key. And when you import, you just say, here's the name of the file, and this is what I want to call it once I import it. Base 36. So we have now switched the default representation of all IPNS keys to be base 36 CIDV ones by default. Um, and this is good because when you have um, when you have subdomains. So if you want to have, you know, key.ips.localhost or, or, you know, .ips.dlink.web, uh, that needs to be both 
all in a single case, and it needs to be small enough to fit within the DNS label size. Uh, and base 36 allows us to do this, whereas uh, base 58 did not um, with, with this whole uppercase, lowercase thing. So now things should look the same uh, when you use subdomains and when you use uh, you know, outputs from the IPFS command line. Uh, additionally, we're getting prepared for having peer IDs being represented in base 36 for similar reasons. Uh, there are still a number of LP2P implementations that do not have uh, support for, repre for representing multi addresses in base 36. So that's not the default yet, but we're looking forward to doing that uh, in the future. Uh, this has been a, a feature that's been requested for a little while, uh, being able to get some basic stats uh, out of a DAG. Uh, in particular, uh, let's say you just want to get the size of a DAG, not a UNIXFS object, but the entire DAG itself. Um, we now have a command for that. This is also good for UNIXFS because um, there are some shortcuts in UNIXFS that allow you to understand the size of an object without actually reading the whole thing. But, for, but sometimes you actually don't want the shortcutted, you know, size, but the full size, um, you know, the full size of the data structure. Uh, and finally, uh, don't forget to upgrade um, on, you know, dist.ipfs.io. Uh, and we will have GoIPFS, uh, is it GoIPFS 0.7.0, .0, RC1 is already out, RC2 should be out uh, later today.